live. I think that was it. I think we are live, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday night. That means only one thing. It is the Black Sheep Bravo roundtable discussion here. Uh, with us today is the regular crew, minus a couple. So uh, we got Doc, Ogre, Charlie, and Devil Dog here uh, joining us tonight. So before we dive in, I want to welcome everybody. If this is your first time joining us, we are Black Sheep Bravo. We are a YouTube channel production media entertainment company that uh, is made up of veterans for veterans. So uh, your help is appreciated in spreading the word, getting veterans to come out and join our shows uh, that is posted throughout the week. So welcome. And we're going to go around the round table real quick. We're going to start off with Doc. Doc, what's going on in the lab tonight? Oh, not much. Got a lot on the docket. So stay tuned. Okay, all right, Roger that. Ogre, uh, what's going on in Stately Ogre Manor? It's dark in here. <laughs> I noticed. I was going to ask you, see. what the hell's going on there? <laughs> fucking lamps. <laughs> you and lamps to just do not get along. <laughs> I, I, I got to move them around, and I'm like, I can see over here, and I can't see. Oh, then I come on here, and I'm like, oh, the first thing you assholes hey, how come you're so dark <laughs> that's right man that's right pretend, we'll, we'll, we'll come we'll come back to, we'll got, come back to that pretend i got we'll a come, tan uh, there you go yeah we're gonna come back to you and, and uh we're gonna switch over to our woman on the road she is doing a special segment she's on the road and she is traveling somewhere in the united states she may be coming out to see you but chuck tell us uh, what's going on in your neck of the woods oh just driving driving got a few public service announcements like to put out tonight we'll get to those later but uh everything's going well great very good all right we're going to come back to you here uh, with uh with your live report and last but not least uh, oh before we go to uh to the devil dog uh double o he is on a special assignment he will be coming in shortly uh he's going to be late uh typical uh, of double low, Always. but uh, that's, that's, that's his thing. You know, he's got to come in late. He's got to make an entrance. So, you know, he'll be, he'll be popping in here later. And then Wentz, he is also, uh, since he is with a, uh, he's a first responder with the fire department. He may be popping in here later as well. He's either on a call or he's training. So, uh, we know how that goes. So he may be popping in later. So hopefully he will, he'll join us. So going over to devil dog from the Bronx, what's going on in your neck of the woods. What's going on It's raining It's cold. It was snowing this morning. So uh, that's what's going on in the Bronx. Uh, if you want, I want to start off by saying a quick story about what happened to me on my way home from work. All right, go for it. But this is kind of weird. You know, I come home late, tired. Ah, let me go stop at uh, Rite Aid, pick up a couple of odds and ends, whatever. And uh, I get to the front of the line, and I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot my wallet. So, uh, you yeah, know, I told the guy, listen, I'm going to leave everything in the counter. I, I live two blocks away. Go home, get my wallet come back and I go straight to the counter so when I went straight to the counter this big dude I'm talking about this guy was muscle six feet two yeah. about 240 this guy was jacked and he says yo oh oh and I'm like holy crap this guy is gonna fucking kick my ass so I look at him I was like, excuse me what are you talking about he goes officer oh remember me you locked me up uh -oh. back in the day and I'm like uh -oh. there we go I'm tired I don't want to fight, man. And he says, I want you to know that since you locked me up, I changed my life. He whips his wallet, shows me some ID. I'm a trucker. He gives me a freaking bear hug and makes a freaking spectacle of all right. He's saying, see this dude? This is one of the good dudes. He taught me <laughs> to be a good citizen, treated me right when I was locked up. And I'm like, thank God, bro. Gave me a hug. He asked me, oh, you live around here? I said, no, nah, man, I don't live around here, brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I live in Manhattan. <laughs> man, I, live I don't live around away. here, brother. Yo, but, man. I'm from the Poconos. What a, 
<laughs> what a night, man. I got home, I told my wife, you can't believe what happened to me, man. It was crazy. But you know what? Hey, yeah. it pays to be a good cop, man. Hey, that's good shit, well, though. That, we need more stuff like that. Like, I, I wish someone yeah. would, would have recorded that. Yeah, man, that would have yeah. been good for uh, the show. So when he yeah, bear hugged you, did you make sure that uh, he didn't jack your wallet? Did you make sure you had that? Now, you, you know, I'm sure he didn't you jack my know. wallet. And he, I didn't want him to take a fucking field, too, man. <laughs> yeah, he, there's somebody, there's some six foot two big guy out there flashing his badge saying he's 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 Officer O using your uh, <laughs> using your <laughs> uh, pull over. Oh man. All right. So, uh, all right. Welcome, uh, welcome everybody. That's uh, that's good. So, since Charlie's on the road, I, I want to go ahead and go to her first. So, or Chuck, right, what are we going with tonight? I forgot. Chuck, Charlie. I, I mean, everybody knows who I am. Chuck, a woman, undecisive. Chuck Charlie. <laughs> Chuck Charlie. That sounds like an actual like the person that does the weather. Chuck Charlie with the sports. Like a, so we're yeah, gonna we're gonna go for our reporter. roving reporter. Yeah, live reporting, Chuck Charlie, uh, with the uh, word on the street. Uh, go ahead and tell us about your PSA. So my PSA, um, it's kind of a, a pet peeve that if you are a friend of mine, you know not to do this exact thing in front of me. So if oh, you're sitting like in a group bait. of wow, huh? I said that sounds like clickbait. <laughs> what? <laughs> so let her finish. You know, you, Say, say you're out with your friends and, and you see this disgruntled girl and she's got her arms crossed and she's got this pissed off face going on and you know you see her significant other lean over and go hey honey what's wrong and she goes nothing bitch then quit acting like something's wrong wipe the frown off your face and don't act like anything's wrong you don't get to just keep pretending something's wrong and not address it he asked you say i don't like it when you look down the waiter's shirt whatever whatever your spouse or significant other did but don't sit there with your little tood and your little arms crossed and then when he asks what's wrong you go nothing then don't act like nothing is wrong pet peeve it drives me nuts damn I'm sorry, okay. I don't mean to interrupt, but I just saw something that the Spaniard was doing that I don't know if anyone else caught it, but when he was grabbing the microphone, I mean, it's kind of phallic looking. He's kind of grabbing it and then talking into it. If you guys are yeah. jealous about my microphone, just just get one for yourself <laughs> and, and just, you know, you, you don't have to envy my, 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 my package. My my whole unit here. All right, this is this <laughs> yeah, is a work in progress. Sorry about that, Chuck Charlie. Uh, no, we're gonna get back to you again. So the PSA. Now the, this you said this happened just recently to you. No, it happened. I see it happen all the time. Just, oh, all the time. Different. Okay. Yeah, like you just look if you people watch and you kind of pay attention. There's always that one girl that something's always got to be fucking wrong. That she's always got yeah. something wrong. She's got that you... just mean. Hateful attitude. You you and ran that. into a couple of my wives, I take it. I, 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 I Hold on a second. I'm going to be off camera, but I can hear you. I got to do something here. Hey, guys. Uh, I, I got a courtesy flush. I got Steve flush. Steve oh, says he, he Steve. can't hear anything. Uh, are you, is he watching the right one? Steve, you got to write a comment on the uh, show, Steve. Let us know what you wa how you're watching it. That's not much. Better. Yeah, there was there was uh you know, I guess I should have I should have explained. I did a, a test earlier with uh, another program and that did not have sound. Uh, this one is live, so hopefully you should be able to hear us. So if nobody can hear us, be. please please chime in. Um, uh oh. Here. Right. Oh, he's got Wait it. All right, Steve. It. Steve. Steve, you know that coke will do it to you. It, it, will, it will do it the to mind you, man. Too much. So yeah. Got to pick the right one. Be careful. Well, welcome. Coke. Welcome. It's can't, can't you know, I don't Steve. know about you guys. Go ahead. Can just hear uh, Devil Dog talking, can he? I think he's good. Can he? Yeah. Well, are we good? Uh, I, I could, think we're good. Well, I could just yell and he'll hear me. So that's that's what I'm <laughs> saying. I, that was that was the joke. Yeah. It's that close. I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> it's like they what's that? The office Space. Anybody? Uh, Anybody see Office Space? Movie. Or he's banging movie. on the yeah. wall. Hey, dude, yeah. Kung Fu's on. 
Now, see, now, Ogre, that kind of, I picture your place like that. Is, is that how your setup is? You live in a condo or a house? I, the, uh, it's a fucking ghetto. <laughs> that, that, that wasn't quite the options, anything. but thank you. If, yeah. you if, if, if you ever saw, if you remember in, in uh, junior high reading or watching the Diary of Anne Frank, it's kind of like that. Oh, my God. Damn, dude. Uh-oh. uh who did, who did you piss off, or is there you, isn't there any other places you could move yeah, to, or and those those the, those divorces add up, man. Yeah, that gets you. Oh, that's right. Damn. So, no, it's you not like that terrible. I was wrong too many times. I got that. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it happens. It happens. The guy, the guy uh, that no, it's the uh, the upstairs guy got uh, for Christmas. I think uh, somebody got him at uh, like rock band or something so that was for every for every day during christmas break around, around seven o'clock to like 8 45 you didn't hear like the fuck is going on up there hey I, I, it's dawned on me i'm like hey guys assholes up there playing rock band or again were you, like were you, were you upset that you weren't invited to, to jam with them or, <laughs> yeah. or, I, I that's it know. well at least it wasn't a real drum set that is, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that'd, that'd be a little breach of etiquette there. Then the, the guy, the new guy's, uh, one of these apartments, the guy's girlfriend, I took the dog out for a walk, the guy's girlfriend's out there here around on the side of the building. She's yelling up at the windows at him, Bob, 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 open it, Bob. <laughs> and I come around the side of the building, and she doesn't see me. She has no peripheral vision at all. I mean, it's sundown. It's dark out. It's, it's, it's after sundown, I mean. I'm about 10, 15 feet away from her. I didn't touch her. I didn't make a threatening <laughs> move or anything. I just said, I, I, I said, excuse me. Do you, I said, hey, excuse me. Do you need to get let in? She turns and like jumps like a fucking cartoon. Like, ah, there, her eyes bug out. <laughs> and she turns and runs around the building at like top speed. <laughs> runs around the building. Get back here, banging on the door. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I went around back the other way. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm going to get shot. The guy wow. about, oh, about, yeah, that's that's all you need right now. Yeah. <laughs> about, oh. about three minutes later, the guy, some, some 24, 25-year-old dude, opens the door and sticks his head out looking around, and I'm standing right in front. He looks at me. I'm like, hey, how's it going? He just kind of looks at me and nods and goes back in the building. I'm like, that guy's in for a terrible fucking night. He's going to have to hear it. <laughs> His was girlfriend was, that was, yeah, it had to be. I almost said that. I almost said, hey, Bob, how's it going? So I figured he's, <laughs> his girlfriend's going to be up there, like Charlie said, like folding her arms and giving him dirty looks over nothing. Oh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, yeah. Did, you, did you chase away the attempted rapist out there with the dog in the big orange <laughs> reflective coat? Jesus Christ. That, I'm surprised they're going to have like an alert on a- all the networks. ABC, they're yeah. going to have a, a sketch drawing of you with yeah, your that, glasses I, and the dog. I was I was, <laughs> up, at, I was up at like 1 a.m. looking in the mirror in the bathroom. I'm like, am I that fucking ugly or what? You know, Jesus Christ, she just bolted. <laughs> ah! I'm like, oh, sorry. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe next time we'll have to put some jingle bells around around your neck or something. So something. She, you're coming or something. She needs That's to get uh, high with the smoke up with the Bob Marley and the Whalers across the hall from me. Oh no shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Are they real musicians or are you just calling them that? <laughs> no, they're just stoned. <laughs> oh, they're just stoned. Wow. Dang. Well, so wait quite, a second here. Got a place over here. So you're in Illinois. Right? Yes. Ogre. Yeah. And and Doc, yes. you're in Illinois. Yeah. Have 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 you do you guys know about that congressman running for office? He is he's like the, the stoner congressman. I mean he, he's got he had a picture of his campaign is about legalizing marijuana and he looks like Clark Kent. I mean, he's a good looking dude, man. He's like a GQ guy, young guy. He, one of his campaign posters, he's sitting in a chair with a joint, you know, what? all done up, and he's he's the Illinois, he's uh, he's a congress, he's running for congress in Illinois, so I don't know. That's I'm surprised you guys guy. don't keep up. Well, I guess, wow, I guess, yeah. I hope it, I hope it, I, I hope I'm in his district. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I have to look. I have to go find it because I, I know the trophy wife was like uh, pausing him. She's like, wow. I'm like, oh, why don't you fucking you know take a picture of it? And maybe uh, <laughs> you know play with the all right. All right. All yeah, I, I see is, is commercials for like 
All I see is like 300 pound billionaires running for governor. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, that oh shit, man. Right? Yeah. But, uh, That's how we get it. Yeah, man. Get Pritzker, and then that, how about that, how about that broad that put that, uh, uh, put that commercial out with the, the guy, I don't know if anybody saw it, Doc, you see those commercials with the, uh, thanks, thanks, Governor Rauner, for paying for all my abortions. And <laughs> oh, wow. Thank, oh, had, my it, God, man. It had, it had this dude that was, that looked like me, dressed up as a woman, and he's like, thanks, Governor Rauner, for letting me go in the ladies' room. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, I saw this. <laughs> yeah. That's too oh, much. Wow. That is too much. They, they now, now in New York, what's, there. yeah, in New York, what's the status with the the whole uh, Mary Jane situation going on in New York? Is is there any is there anything any movement or is that more of a a moot point? I said moot. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's a movement going on. I mean, it's, that stuff is not going to go anywhere. You know, that's going to be yeah. a continuing battle. Yeah. You just got to follow so, the know, times and go with it, man. Yeah, because I know we're here in Indiana. We just got out of the dark ages. We are we are now able to sell alcohol on Sundays. That's so, right. Wow. And That's right. they finally upgraded to AOL. Uh, yeah, no they, way. They, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They're they're no longer using Linkos or Lycos or whatever that uh, old first that very first. Uh, welcome. Yeah, know, I'm a geek, but you know, yeah. So yeah, it's uh, we're coming the, out of the dark welcome ages. Welcome to the 1950s. Yeah, no shit. So. The, the only thing I'm concerned about is that, you know, I used to go to Illinois, right? You know, I live right close to the in the Illinois border, so I would go over there in case my dumbass forgot to load up on Saturday. You know, I would have to go drive across the border. Those guys are going to be hurting for business on Sundays now. So I, don't, I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a big increase or decrease, but it's nice to know because I have a liquor store right. I could run there if I had to if, if I was out <laughs> of uh, liquor. So uh, I'm very happy about that. Thank you, Indiana. Wow. Hoosiers. Love it. Loving it. Taxes are going down and alcohol sales are going up. There you go. That's from, probably from, why the yeah. taxes are going down. Yeah. Right. Man. Speaking of going down, uh, Ogre Ross. Well, we're not going to go back to that <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> Never mind. Any more public service announcements there, Chuck Charlie? Or was that it? I don't think she can hear us for some reason. Yeah, be careful. She's driving. Be careful. Oh, she is driving. Never mind. We're going to move on. I don't want to distract her. I can hear you. Can you not hear me? There you are. Oh, there we go. Now we could. Now we could. Yeah, just I can pay hear attention. you guys, We're... but you're starting to cut out a little bit. But, yeah, that was about the only public service announcement is if there's something wrong, be an adult and say something. Don't sit there with your toot. If, if there's nothing wrong, then you shouldn't be acting like there is. Fantastic. Okay. What yeah, if you're upset that you can't? What if you're upset that you can't sacrifice a cat though? Can you can you be upset about that and not tell anyone? Who said you can't? Uh, I'm pretty sure the I law mean, does. Mean, time in a sack the and law? throw them in a river. <laughs> <laughs> I am the law. You, we're talking about cats. Hey, uh, uh, fuck cats. Oh, how do we? How did we get on cats? I don't know, Doc. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a Doc's non sequator there, or however you say that. <laughs> Not he's quite sure. To, he's what trying to psycho, psychoanalyze non, us. Non, yeah. non sequitur, that's what I was trying to say. Non sequitur. <laughs> that's around, that's <laughs> down there in Central America, the non sequitur. <laughs> the You're the Tropic of Cancer. Yeah, they also got, they got those big trees out in California, the sequitas. <laughs> well, I thought those were a kind of tacos. I, don't I want know, one I of those Sequoia tacos. What the fuck's yeah. the matter with me? Non sequitur. That's what I was trying to say. I'll be getting a text here pretty soon from my fact checker. Hey, dumbass. Yeah, you non sequitur. You, you said fat checker? Or no, fat? will you, will you stop saying that? You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> it's fact. We went over okay. this before. <laughs> Well, it must be that Midwestern Chicago accent, and you're forgetting the you're forgetting the C. I got my yeah. sister said that. My sister was watching Monday. She sent me a text. Yeah. She said, "You sound like you're from S South Chicago." I'm like, really? No shit. Where'd you grow up? Fitting. <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> Idaho. I've never been to Idaho. Yeah, oh, oh uh, speaking of which, uh, one thing I do kind of kind of kind of uh, jumping on uh, Chuck Charlie's PSA, 
Uh, you got to save the chickens, man, because evidently in the UK there's a chicken shortage, and Kentucky Fried Chicken is like uh, going. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Is this a real thing? You hear about that? No, 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 no. Thing, no it's not a chicken. It's, it's, it's not a joke. They, no, they changed. They changed their. Uh, what? They they changed from like Federal Express or I don't know. They I don't shit. I don't know. They changed their 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 carrier, their their delivery service. And the yeah. delivery service didn't get didn't get enough chickens in, and they had to close down for like a day or two, a couple uh, KFCs. So are they opening up oh, clinics like a methadone clinic for KFC, mm-hmm. like how they did in what? South Park? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. losing their fucking minds. Yeah, those we need Eric Cartman going crazy. to fix this issue. Yeah, oh, and those little little God. British little little British girls sounding like little orphans. Please, I want more gravy. I want the gravy <laughs> and my chicken. Please like stop. a fucking Teletubbies. They all sound like Teletubbies. That's that's what it looks like. <laughs> Freaky ass show. God, that gives me the fucking creep still thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Can you name all the Teletubbies? Yeah, man. No. Yeah, hey, that's a good... Yeah, I don't... I just know that colors. Don't be lucky. No. Know. Yeah, they were Wrong weird. Thing. They were weird. Tinky Winky. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Ogre would have remembered that. Yeah, only Ogre, what, what it, man. One of them was supposed to be a faggot, remember? And they had the whole... Oh, uh, come on. Oh. There he had to go there. <laughs> no, there was... A, oh, sorry. Well, the, it, it, let's the, use the other word, man. The religious, the religious right was all upset because they, one of them was supposedly a homosexual because he was purple or some shit. Don't you no. remember this? Anybody? Am I the only no. one who ever watched television? I'm not going to comment on I, that. I didn't I watch that shit. It's a dumb thing to remember and watch. No, no, no. This, was, re- this, was, this was on the news. This wasn't like an episode of the Teletubbies. This is right. like oh, uh, this is, this is no. like the religious right or like Swaggered or who's that? Not, not, who's the one that dropped dead? Superstar Billy Graham? No, not him. <laughs> Uh, one of them, one of them cats was oh, like, "Oh, man. this is it's it's promoting the evil Democrat homosexual lifestyle because uh, the guy's purple and he's got a rainbow flag." Or something. Really, I don't know. No, the, oh, I just remember one of them had a circle. Oh, look look it up. And one I'm, of them, yeah, the red, the red like one. I'll be back. So I'm going when, to the interweb. I'm telling you. When my I, when my kids would play with them, I would take the one and and you know just play with it that way. But that was it. I I, I never watched that crap. Very interesting. Did you try and fit the triangle one? Was there a triangle one? I don't know. Did you try, try and I, I fit the triangle remember. one? It was right around the time when the Powerpuff Girls were big back in the. Back I, in the that day. my <laughs> girls were big with that one. Yeah, Powerpuff Girls. I, I know all the names on that one. Hey, here it is. Here it is. Tinky Winky started a controversy in 1999. Tinky Winky. Because, Tinky of, Winky. because of his carrying a bag that looked much like a woman's handbag. Uh, he aroused the interest of Jerry, right. Fal- Jerry Falwell in 1999 when Falwell alleged that the character was a gay role model. Falwell issued his attack at National Liberty Journal, citing Was- a Washington Post in our column, attention. which stated the lesbian comedian Ellen DeGeneres, blah, 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 blah. Uh, something tinky winky, simply a sweet technology. Oh my god! Anyway, and, so, this, and this all started because of a shortage of chicken, a fried chicken. Yeah, we yes. Got, we got, we got on, we got on the. <laughs> you're the one. Winky. You're the one bringing up the Teletubbies voice, or no? Maybe that was Doc again. What a non. <laughs> sex. It always has to relate back to sex. Speaking of yeah. sex, Doc, what, don't you oh. have something you uh, you wanted to, to discuss tonight? I do. Oh, uh, oh, so, all, right. all right. Well, go ahead. What you guys are familiar, familiar, today, Junior. Just, just a little bit uh, of history. So you guys are familiar with aphrodisiacs and stuff, right? Yeah, the band. You know or what they are? What are they? The, 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 the things that you eat. It's, yeah, okay, it makes your yeah, hair. Okay, it, so, it, it, yeah, so you got like the oysters, Viagra. It cetera. curls your hair. So mm-hmm. back in the day, they thought that grounding up rhinoceros and elephant and reindeer horns would be a natural aphrodisiac because they're kind of phallic shaped and that that is where the term that's the the second time that's the second time you said phallic today so this is oh this is good oh oh we're keeping a tally okay oh that was that was that was actually interesting i'm gonna move my well thank you microphone it really was yeah Yeah. that's where horny i'll be damned yeah all right so so that's where horny the term horny came you said yes Nice. That what else has what else shape. has horns? <clears throat> Rosebush. No, those are thorns. Thorns. Thorn, yeah. eh, 
Well, technically, an elephant horns because are every, tusks. Be, because so. every every rose has its thorn. Just like every ah. cowboy sings a sad, sad song. There you go, sing it, man. Bands have Ooh, horns. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie's with me. She can dig it. <laughs> sing it. Elephants, elephants have tusks. What about uh, what about uh, what are those uh, boars? Those are tusks, aren't they? Wild yes. boar, yeah. Those are tusks. Yeah. Are but tusks. I guess they would consider them horns as well. Bulls. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I haven't been watching. I haven't been watching enough yeah, uh, National Geographics lately. But the last or graphics, geographic. Uh, but the last one I saw it had uh, the the plight of the sexual, the sexual plight of the hippo. I mean that's. I feel bad for these animals, man. I used to think being a single guy was hard, but man, being a fucking single hippo and a fucking single lion, <laughs> these these fuckers got to go through some fucking torture just to get laid, man. It's it's incredible. Like, damn, man, these guys need to watch this shit before they go hit the clubs or where you go. Do guys even hit the clubs anymore? I don't even know if they hit the clubs or not. Yeah, I stopped doing that. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know. Single, are there Maybe any single double guys out there watching? That. Let us know. Yeah, I don't know. I do. I'm the I'm the old guy at the club. Hey, baby. So you're yeah, the creep. You know word? I'm the creepy guy. I'm wearing the creeper. The bathroom. Hey, you're not a not a pedophile, jackass. <laughs> if they're over 21, give me a break. You're a oh, pedophile. You're your sweatpants and your New Balance tennis shoes into the club. I wear oh. my red I wear my <laughs> red Adidas jumpsuit. Oh my, man. Yeah. Velcro <laughs> shoes. And my and rope chain. And, noir. My rope chain and my kango. There you go. Yeah. And and, a, and and you're doused in drukhar noir. <laughs> That's good shit yeah. right there. Yeah, it is good shit. Take a bath. Yeah, I use that. it. I'm not afraid. Yeah, Charlie. Uh, Chuck Charlie, what is your what is your favorite fragrance for a man? That's uh, yeah. It, 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 someone had had wrote had wrote that in one time. Like, what's your favorite cologne? I'm like, well, it's not about me. It's about who smells it. But from a woman's point of view. What what is what is your favorite scent? Uh, scent of a well, I shouldn't say scent of a man, but favorite cologne uh, on a man. Um, Musk. There's you know we can bring him back Old Spice. No, just kidding. Um, favorite cologne on a man it, right now would be uh, Calvin Klein One or the One, however it's pronounced. Um, uh -huh. It's kind of a woodsy scent, but it doesn't like it's not like hovering. It's not like oh god like. Smells like cologne, leave it alone type. It's a, it's a subtle scent, but it's there. All right, Sex subtle Panther. but fair. Okay. That's good. That's good. How much does right, it cost? Yeah, this is. Um, the, I think the, it's the, around like seventy bucks for. Bottle. Too much. Where Damn. does, where where on the scale does Skin Bracer by Menon rate? I mean, you can <laughs> get. Oh my gosh. You know this the doc. <laughs> that, doc's like doc's like twenty. How old are you? Oh, what the fuck is that? What skin bracer? Come on. That's old, man. Oh, my God. That's good shit. You put a little on it. Yeah. It's a shit little. Burn. It's a little. Your, your eyes water right. for four hours. <laughs> well, that's good. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. But what about a woman? What's uh, what's the the popular fragrance uh, for women now, nowadays there, Charlie? I mean, for women, I don't know. I know a lot of Lately, that's this hippie shit, and everybody smells like fucking patchouli. And I'm, I mean, I don't uh, get it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's know. that's like the 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 mm. end thing is this hippie look with the flowy shirts and the weird long pants and make Coachella. Look like they have really big vaginas. It's weird. <laughs> oh, like nice, it's, it's weird yeah. That's a that's a that's a fake. I think that might be a fragrance, but it's, 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 it's pronounced in French. Go with some of yeah. the outfits that I have seen here lately. <laughs> No, I think nice. that's like this, anything patchouli, women are just all over, which I, I mean, oh. I, I don't really like patchouli. Yeah. All right. Duly noted. <laughs> so there you go. No patchouli. All right. Well, Doc, since you were all upset about the whole seventy dollars thing, what 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 men's cologne do you wear? Or do you uh, do you not wear cologne? I don't really wear cologne. There's no point. There's, well, yeah, it's I guess point. not. You. What? There is. You what see, do you mean? There's no see, point. Doc's, <laughs> Doc's in a bunker. He's like, you never see that movie Cloverfield? That's that's where he's at. He's uh, he's like 20 feet underground. Uh, he doesn't come out. Only comes out like twice a year. That's, there's no there's no Fair need, there's no need for he, him to. Punxsutawney Phil or something? What's he coming? <laughs> I mean, 
for for people that are single, I mean, I guess I can get the appeal, and you don't want to smell like shit when you're trying to meet someone. But <laughs> Definitely. I don't smell like shit, so I don't need cologne. <laughs> yeah, so you don't. So there you go. That's a that's a good pardon, another good pardon my, pardon my shit smell. <laughs> <laughs> I just crap myself. There's a lot of different. Like I mean, I guess some people even just getting up on their normal daily activities. Some people put cologne on as part of their like get ready ritual. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Agree. Yeah, and the, and, every sixteen year old boy before he steps out of his friend's car douses himself head to toe with a can of Axe. That's because they're high. That's yeah. true. Yeah, it's true. Because they don't want to smell like weed. Because they don't want to smell like weed. There you go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How about That's you? Fair. What's uh, what uh, what is the scent of an ogre? Speed stick. Speed <laughs> stick. Wow. Good. Damn. Speed stick. Two for a dollar at the dollar store. No, Can't I go used wrong to. There. I got. Uh... Ah shit. I got. I got nothing. It's skin <laughs> bracer. Yeah. To, skin uh, skin bracer. Skin to bracer. Made fun. Five men Old Spice. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of shit. People keep buying. I don't. I. It's. It, I. I get a fucking complex because of Christmas and birthdays. I always get like a bunch of fucking deodorant and uh, <laughs> aftershave and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Is, people? On a rope. Is it like one of those uh, ten dollar box a, sets? I'm yeah. like, yeah, I don't stink that <laughs> bad, do I? Yeah, those yeah. are good too. Yeah. The last minute. Oh shit! I forgot the- you gift. Yeah, those are the things that are at the at the checkout, like a, an impulse <laughs> buy. I'm like, yep, exactly. over. What is he like? You gotta buy it. And, you know, just getting it at fucking Walgreens, eh? Like, I exactly. think this. It's not even hard. In, it's not even hard the, plastic. It like bends around. Here, here's your gift, the, asshole. The Stetson, the Stetson gift pack. You get Stetson. a free shaving kit. Yeah, a free, a, a free shaving kit bag. that's plastic. With, with Old Spice. I used to. I used to. Yeah. Did, your car was big. You're right. That was huge. That was probably. Yeah, but that yeah. was. That was before wife number one. So that was probably like the end oh, of the. Oh God. And then, then whatever I had in the in the in the gift pile that I would use. Mm. So if I go, you know, it, it depends. You don't want to stink, though, mm. but you don't want to, you don't want to put it on it. And you don't want to use Axe either, because apparently that's like super Potent. frowned upon or whatever, but yeah. Yeah. the women folk, they could smell it coming a mile away. That's Axe body spray. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like my body I wash is enough. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. If you can use it in moderation, cool. Like, at least you're making an attempt to not smell like shit. So, there you go. I think it's Paul. Hold on a second. He's gonna so go nobody check. goes uh nobody goes clubbing anymore. I haven't been clubbing uh, since I was in my twenties. I went to a club recently. Oh, you have. And it was. I, I mean, I was quickly reminded why I stopped going. Yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh man, I used to love going hey, to the clubs, hey, yo, man. Yo, 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 hey yo, Tony, me and you been to some clubs in uh North yeah, Carolina. We did. North Carolina, those those Southern Carolina. gals like 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 the like the Latino man. It was crazy because anytime Ricky Martin came on, do you really want it? I was on the dance floor, man. I was hitting it, man. The Cabaretis yeah. and the Dracar Noir. Cabaretis. It, it was. Dude, it was you were dancing but, yeah. to what do you call it? Uh, OPP. You remember OPP, you were dancing to OPP? Yes. That's, that's yeah, right. you know me. With some broad. <laughs> Oh my God, uh, those are the days, man. Yeah, listen, I think I think the trophy wife was watching. So uh, I don't think I think you got me mixed up with somebody else. That, yeah, I, was, she, I, used to, I wasn't, I wasn't there Bible. either. She, your I wives under, your your wives understand you did stuff before you met them. Okay. Not me. Oh no, please. Me. No. Leave Mrs. Double Dog alone. All right. They don't want to. They don't want to hear about it. You got enough. You got enough trouble last week with your fucking right? sausage jokes. Oh yeah, you you messed up, man. I needed yeah, Chuck here to right. save me last week, man. <laughs> was brutal, brutal, man. Yeah. Oh, was man. That? It was Spaniard. It was Spaniard yeah. the whole time. Well, I don't want to yeah. say it, but I don't want to. Now, now, Doc, did you did you get that uh, that uh, comment that was made by Stephanie? Did you read that? Uh, what's the comment? It says, is Doc a groundhog? And then she said, Doc, what kind of gift would you bring a date? Oh, good question. That's a very good question, Stephanie. Wow. Thank you. Wait, well, he's already taken oh, yeah. on a date. Why the fuck did you okay. bring a gift? <laughs> is that what is that what people do now? It's like you bring a gift on a date. That's, that's I a mean, good I'm out of the loop. To answer the question, that's no, a I'm not a groundhog. I'd, I'd like to be considered more of like a prairie dog. Oh. You're a little, little bit smarter. They call it yeah, the hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> 
But so no. no gift? No I'm gift? not bringing a gift. Your, your gift is your time with me. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Okay. I get it. I get it. Does that does that help, Stephanie, or or, uh, <laughs> or were you expecting more? Because uh, or maybe we should start that. You know, guys, uh, you know, single single folks out there, if you are dating, uh, maybe try that. Let us know if that works. Bring whoa, a whoa, gift whoa. to your date. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Bring the, bring me a I'm gift. I'm gonna tell you real quick. Don't bring me a gift. <laughs> I don't want a gift. Don't. Like I'll bring you a like a steak knife set or something. I don't, I don't know something oh, that you could man. use. Yeah. Great. That would Wouldn't be that perfect. be good though? Yeah. Or like uh, yeah. tools, or you know, and then vice versa. Like uh, I don't know what what do women find functional nowadays that would be considered a good gift on a first date? A tire iron. A toaster. Okay. Toaster. Toaster. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody loves toast. <laughs> How about alcohol? Alcohol is yeah, a bottle. You bring a bottle to your first date. A scented yeah, see, I'm candle. I'm so glad. Chicks dig scented so candles. Scented yeah, candles. I'm, I'm, yeah, they do. They do. Bring is that, is that how, conversation. That's, that's no fun. That, that's, that's the gift. That's the gift. Then you got to think. Shower before you go on your date. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope these like guys shit. are taking notes. If, if oh. anybody's watching or when they do watch, take that's notes what, here. This is, that's, this is good that's, a, that's a good tip. What the hell's going on? Oh, yeah. Where are we going? Oh, where she's on scene. <laughs> We're home. All right. She made it safely. All right. You made it safe. Thank you. All right. Safe. All right. And Stephanie said, thank you, awesome. Doc, for that clarification. Very cool. Yes. No problem. Right. Clarification, you're not a groundhog. Clarification. He's a prairie dog. Prairie dog. Have you seen those videos? Uh, it was it was a while back ago, or I don't know how long, but it was uh, like I guess people were target practicing with prairie dogs for like for long oh, distance. Uh, that sucks. Long long distance target shooting. Really? That must have been off. incredibly. You should difficult. look it up. It, it's it is. Look it up. Prairie dog shooting or prairie dog target practice. And I mean, like again, this is Fun. I think it was Texas. Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, man, I don't like that's that's not cool, man. That's you nothing. Could, you I could eat to... prairie. Hey, you I'm, the, I'm yeah. a big animal lover, man. You can eat anything. Like I used it. to I used to bullseye womp rats in my T16 back home. <laughs> you guys mm. are crazy. Womp rats, that was good. Man, you guys it's are too much. Ogre also swerves to hit the squirrels. No, not yeah. squirrels. Actually, yeah, fuck squirrels. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. You know, what the squirrels? I just don't think you're gonna have such squirrels. a strong opinion. Nah, man. and fucking squirrels get a get a break because they got a big fluffy tail and they're fucking cute. All they are is rats <laughs> with a fluffy tail. They're in your yeah, dumpsters. Right. They they get in your backyard. They eat your bird feeders. They fuck around with your gardens. They get in your house and make big messes. <laughs> They're rats with fluffy tails. You catch the little bastards and they they flip whoa, their fucking whoa, tail whoa, at you. Whoa. And they oh look at how cute I am. your house. Jesus. I fuck I don't know. 1982. How the hell do I know? I'm just saying. <laughs> nice. Hey, how how often does this happen? Now you have to personally. I'm, I'm I'm speaking for the people. Oh, <laughs> for the people. People have squirrels right. in their houses. I mean, I've, yes. I've never really I've seen some videos, but they're very few and far between. Yeah. Well, what do you feel? What do you feel about trash pandas? Oh, I don't like. Trash. I love raccoons. Yeah, raccoons. Nope, they're in my backyard panda. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, fuck them too. They, they guy. He just don't like animals, man. No, I like animals. I don't like fucking rat animals. Them raccoons used to gang up when I worked at Wendy's when I was 15. I'd take the garbage out at night, and those fuckers would be in the dumpsters hissing at me and shit. <laughs> there was a big fucker that was in charge of them, too. He was the big boss. He had to be, fucker had to be like two feet long. He'd stand up on his hind legs and show me his nuts Damn. and hiss at me. I'm like, here, here's. <laughs> Here's the here's the here's your fucking garbage, you raccoons, you little bastards. No, was that was that the same tactic you did on night on wife number one, or is that that's or is that's, that was, that's, how, that's how I got wife number two. Check out these nuts. Did you hiss that? Oh man. Did no, I didn't fuck. I didn't fuck around with those things or her. Oh man. Oh man. But hey, now I I, I know like I, I wish Wentzie was on because er, earlier this week I saw that he was having some insomnia problems and uh, I know yeah. that's been a big topic. Uh, I can't sleep for shit. I'm usually up by I don't know around three o'clock. I'm pacing four o'clock. 
So the other day I was, uh, again, I was up, couldn't sleep, <clears throat> but I was fucking around on the fire stick and went to Netflix and the Warriors that remember that movie, the Warriors about the gangs in New York. Uh, it was like in the eighties, oh, yeah, yeah. uh, very, very, uh, you know, very cheesy production, but great movie nice. nonetheless, like a B cult classic. So that got me thinking, I, I never realized, you know, when I first watched it, I was a kid. I didn't realize how far Coney Island was to the Bronx where, that's where they had to go. The Warriors had to travel from Coney Island to the Bronx to go meet Cyrus, to see Cyrus talk That's about it. numbers, right? That's right. But I'm watching this, man. I'm like, damn, dude, you know what I like to do? Can you Hopefully, and I was, telling, I, was telling, I was telling Devil Dog this yeah, earlier that I would like to get us together, if we could, travel out to New York, start at Coney Island, and take the same trek from Coney Island to the Bronx. That's it, man. Or videoing the whole thing. I mean, that would be... That no, you gotta go else. to you gotta go the other way. They were they were trying to get back to Coney Island. They were trying to get back, right? They yeah, were trying right. To get back. Yeah. But they had to meet yeah, Cyrus. A, but then we'll get shot at by to... lesbians. <laughs> Why? Where the what town <laughs> did the lesbians yeah, live was... in? Yeah, see. What, what I forgot what city that were that block that they were. I don't know. Like... They were in they were in Manhattan. They had the Turnbull ACs Manhattan. and the the Gramercy Riffs. Those are my favorite Riffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Riffs. Yeah, that was a cool movie, man. Can you imagine if they had to, if they could remake that in this day, you know, I don't know if they could even remake that in our uh, day and age right now, but that would be something kind of cool to, to, to see. But yeah, I'd like to cool. do that. I'd like to travel to Coney. They can't, they wouldn't make it. They, they'd get like, they'd run into the first gang and they'd get shot dead. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then roll the credits. Roll Cause the the guy, cause, cause think about it. The guy at the end, the guy at the end there, the guy at the, he pulls out the pistol, and everybody's like, "Oh, he's got yeah. he's got a pistol." Got and a then pistol, the riffs yeah. the riffs showed up, and they all had chains and hockey sticks. And yeah. Shit. Of course, there was like <laughs> two hundred of them, so you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. No, and you I know? realized that scene with the bottles, you know, he was doing the Warriors. Yeah. That was ad libbed. They just said the script ain't working. Just come up with something yourself. And right. He said that was when. <laughs> His neighbor would do that to him when he was a kid to antagonize him and intimidate him. That's that's so when he was a kid, that's what his neighbor did. So he did that uh, for the Warriors movie. I'm like, man, I thought that was pretty. That was ad lib. That's improv, baby, right that was there. True story. So, yeah. Like you know, I, I've been listening like for like the last three minutes, and I have no idea what the hell you guys are talking oh, about. Oh, that's right. Doc yeah, that's because you're guy. that's because you're in a bunker. You gotta you gotta your horizons. Hey, that's the that's the guy uh, that Arnold that Arnold dropped off the cliff was holding yes. him by his foot, drop in yes. commando. Remember, right. I said I'd kill you last. Yeah, you did. I lied. Yeah. Then he drops him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah, cause see, Doc, there's there's more to life than just anime and porn. Yeah. You gotta you gotta expand your horizons and look at other stuff. You gotta get out there. Oh, wait, that, the that's fucking says. nerve with Chuck Charlie. Chuck Charlie, <laughs> do you have a comment? <laughs> Did we strike a nerve? Do you watch anime or anime uh, or animation? Or anime you know, porn? I, just, I was just um, just in, it's taking in the information. Well, that's what, yeah, that's what, that's Doc's vice. That's hey, what a lot of women do. They just take it in. Uh, <laughs> no. Wow. Doc, do you watch it? You watch that? You watch that anime porn where the where the chicks are like having sex with the squids or whatever? Well, they're not no. really having sex with that. They're more or less being raped. But yeah, I partake a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. You're the you're the first person that never knew what the fuck I was talking about when I <laughs> <laughs> Must be a generational uh, thing. I, don't I know. guess. Yeah, Chuck, yeah. Chuck Charlie, I I don't know. I'm, I I I don't know what they're talking about. So you're I'm, you're Charlie knows. She knows. Don't let her fool you. I have seen <laughs> some of what you, what you are mentioning and See? Is, really um Pretty fucking uh, stupid. Disturbing? Yeah. yeah. Disturbing, yeah. My favorite part is when they do the tran do the translations to English and they're they're all talking, then they, they stop talking and their mouths are still moving and stuff. That's my favorite. But this is anime. <laughs> yeah. I have it no is, idea but what I mean, that is. It's still the same thing. Oh man. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. I don't know. I, I like I the real know. deal. I don't like cartoons. 
Yeah, not a big fan. I, I like the real deal. How do we see? We started this on last week. Well, we got onto porn again. We got to get get off of get off of porn. So this was ogre's call uh, this time. This, yeah, it, was it? I didn't was bring, it, you're, was the, it ogre? you're the one that brought up the anime. I was talking about the warriors and commando. I didn't bring up anime. Commando. Who, who did? With Arnold. <laughs> oh no, Spaniard did. Who knows? Yeah, Spaniard. I did. Spaniard brings yeah. up everything. He's in. He's, he's, <laughs> He's running a show here. I, I have a warped, a warped <laughs> the executive mind. producer. Yeah. What do you got there? I'm the, the, no, I'm the engineering producer. Oh, holy shit! Look Dude. at it. All right. So that's nice. There you go. This set, this this broadcast is brought to you by Edie's. I want you to describe <laughs> that first bite for me. <laughs> oh, easy, easy. Oh, give us a review. Give us a review of the ice. <laughs> Please. Cream. Looks like your freezer needs to be turned perfect. down a little bit. <laughs> the first yeah. thing. Yep. Um, I pretty much downed this whole thing. I'm gonna get a yesterday. chisel. Yeah. <laughs> if you put it in it the microwave like, for a couple seconds, it'll be fine. It's got like mm. real icing, like cake icing, mixed through it. So mm -hmm. I tried to dig out those pieces, and then I mm -hmm. let my son eat the rest. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Interesting. Speaking of ice cream and amazing ice cream, have you got? Do you guys have Portillos? Where, yeah. where you're at? Oh man, they have this thing called a no. chocolate cake shake. It is absolutely amazing. What's it called? Uh, the chocolate cake shake. Oh man, yeah, that's and they, oh, they, they blend up a piece of cake in your milkshake. It is fantastic. Oh, wow. mm. oh man, that is pretty good. Yeah, cake we'll have to ever. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to take yeah. a road trip. Oh, well, what is what's the closest one by you, Ogre? Finley or is it Orland? Or is what? that's that still too far south? A Portillo's. Portillo's by me. Yeah. There's one up on uh, Butterfield, but uh... your band? <laughs> no. no. Uh, probably you if you. If 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 you go south, it's probably yeah, probably <laughs> Orland, like you said, or Tinley. Oh man, that's good stuff. Yeah, I like. It. In fact, I might go there tomorrow. Oh, no, maybe not. No, maybe I will go there tomorrow. I might go to the gun show. There's a there's a Central Indiana gun show going on here in Lake County, Indiana, here in Crown Point. Oh wow! Indiana. I think, I, might, I, think right. I may do a recon, a recon Bravo and video live, uh, do some segments there at the gun show. I'm not sure yet. Is it at the Is it at the courthouse? It's at the uh, Lake County Fairgrounds. They, they usually oh. have them there like four times a year. Ah. Free parking. Wow. Yeah, free parking. Kids, uh, kids nice. are free under 12. That's you it. Know. It's that's a big topic, man. Guns is a big is. topic, bro. No, I know. I don't know. Should we? Should we? By can we just go over that? I'm just letting you guys know that that's where I might be tomorrow. I'm, I'm not trying to bring up a topic of guns because it is very touchy. But yeah, we, we but yeah. skip guns. Fuck guns. Let's skip it. Well, no, Let's not fuck it. guns. I love them. Right. Yeah. But this, I, we just don't need to talk Doc about is it. Sitting, Doc is sitting horse. in an AR right now. He's stroking in his AR right as we speak. That's why you don't see. Barrel his up. That's it. Barrel up. <laughs> Same. Isn't that like Purdue? Head. That's a that's boiler a, up. Yeah. Oh, boiler up. Uh, barrel boiler up. up. Yeah. There is the same thing. <laughs> don't don't knock my alma mater, man. Come on now. <laughs> um, oh wait, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie said that she heard that there may be pro protesters at the guy show that's, tomorrow. That's what, what I'm saying. It's a touchy subject. That's man. why I want to go. I want to go do it's it. A touchy subject. This. Cool. Are interviewing both people. sides. I would love to interview people. So yeah, if anybody wants, if anybody's gonna be there, uh, hook up with me. I'd like to interview you first, uh, depending on what time we go. Uh, I think it starts at eight or nine. It goes from nine to five, I think. So uh, yeah, if anybody's gonna be out there, let me know. I, I I'd like to interview you and just uh, uh, get other views because I've, I've been to gun shows. I mean, they are pretty fascinating. They have antique guns, uh, you know, you, a wide variety, and, and it's it's nice. It's not it's not what people think. It's uh it's it's decent. You know, I mean, I bought a my uh my 308 there for cheap, man. It was a Mossberg 308 with a scope and a case for like man dirt cheap. And uh, so yeah, you can get good deals if you're a bargain hunter. So that's why I'm going. Oh so, yeah. Want to get me a couple t-shirts? So we have a a comment from Linda. She says, "Hey everyone, was listening in my car while driving home from Marengo." Nearly crashed from laughing at home now, so I, she could sleep, safely laugh. So thank All you, right. Linda. I'm glad, well, I'm glad you made it home, home safe. Marengo, yes. don't die. Where the fuck's Marengo? 
Marengo, it's in the that's sticks the, of Illinois, Northern yeah. Illinois. Oh, no, I thought that was Illinois. South America. Ugh. It's by Colombia, man. We played it's by like Colombia right here. And here's Peru. East. Peru right here. <laughs> Brazil. Uh, Argentina. And right here in the middle is uh, Marengo. Uh, Marengo. Marengo is, is, Next uh, to is, Ecuador. Is, is, Ecuador. <laughs> and El Salvador. And, and, you know, oh, Devil Dog, I just noticed that you changed your background again. Yeah, I changed my background. I'm trying to do different backgrounds every show. Oh, okay. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. Because yeah. when that's, I was in the other thing. background, the so, freaking so dog Charlie. She's doing that too. Me. Yeah, Charlie looks good there. I it's need just some. Convenient. I just need some light. I can eat my yeah, ice cream. Uh, Marty went over this light, light thing. We went yeah, over with it. the spotlight, bro. The, the midget oh. stole his lamp. Oh, fucking broke. Yeah. Fucking midgets. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, tell. I, I kind of. I kind of was in and out of that story. But what yeah. happened with this this whole situation with the little people and the lamps? That's what yeah, what happened, story. man? <laughs> and nothing, why don't you like midgets? That doesn't make any sense. Right. He's fascinated nothing, by them. Nothing. Can't nothing. you like do like mail order like where they like you order someone to like come sing songs? Can't we order like a midget to come bring ogre a lamp? The guys. Yeah. Are, the, yeah. yeah. The guys at the last go. the last place I worked at the shop manager showed me online you could you could go online you could order a, a order a midget to follow you around all day and he kept telling me he was gonna do that <laughs> to me the midget just like shows up at your work and just like follows you and doesn't say shit just like follows behind you all day <laughs> oh man that would be something yeah that'd be cool man oh no I don't but, I, 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 how I, funny. I, I, I don't hate them, or I don't want to like exterminate them, or I just don't want them around. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but why is this a, a childhood they are trauma? People, I, I don't human know. Beings. There's no. Uh, that's cool. They could go be human <laughs> beings somewhere else. That's just, you know. Come, don't, just don't touch me with them little sausage fingers. Huh? <laughs> oh my! You know, God. hey, have you seen? Right. Oh, they'll make your cock look big. <laughs> you guys are going to hell for sure. Yeah, yeah, they go to hell, man. The bus. Now, I was uh, the the one that I, at my my. This sounds funny. The the lamp in my bedroom broke, so the lamp that I had over here had to move into the bedroom so I could see when I get dressed in the morning because I. I'm fat and I fall over. <laughs> see. So good story. We'll we'll stick yes. with that story. Oh and, right, and yeah. then the, the midget was the one that I was telling before the air was that I, I used to go to a, a, a fast food restaurant and when I lived when I was married to wife number two and I had to stop going there for about eight, nine months because they had had a had a little person and they <laughs> instead of I guess she couldn't reach the fucking grill or the fries or anything, so so they stuck her in the window, not in the window, <laughs> like come in here and eat. They they had her at the drive-through taking your money and giving you your fucking food, and so your car, <laughs> you you pull up and you're in your car and you're like, okay, let me get and you get your you. You know, you you get your pop handed to you, and instead of like a regular person, a regular drive through, here's your here's your drink. You get here, here's your drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and if you if you didn't pull your if you, if 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 you didn't pull your freaking car scraping up to the bricks of the of the drive through window, your food has ended up on the fucking ground all the time because of those oh, herbs that come out she's she's holding you know it's like here's here's your here's your medium pepsi <laughs> oh jeez that's not Damn, nice man. Man. that is not nice uh, though that's but not nice those are dis- we, we I, shouldn't I have, have had the disclaimer yeah that's we forgot awesome, the disclaimer man. at the beginning of the show uh, that fuck it. the this voices is, and opinions it's all my opinion yes that's yeah. awesome it's it's yeah. it's all me reflect. i'm a i'm a rotten bastard i'm a rotten bastard because yeah, I got a weird yeah, thing about nobody, midgets because nobody played with him. Uh, nobody played with him and and his, uh, his restaurant. Now, what's the difference That's between not well with others? One of them <laughs> is it? Is it? What's a, what's a, what's the one that's got the they're like got the normal size head and stuff, but they're just really short. A dwarf. Oh, those are dwarves. Dwarves. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to have the. Uh, and the we'll midgets are the ones uh, that got their really big heads. We'll get Peter Dinklage people. for next week. 
Yeah, yeah. Go, you, Doc was uh, he's our since he's our technical BFF. producer and our and and the uh, what do you call it this the uh, the talent scout or whatever. Oh wait, I got, us, I, got, I got a question. I got a question. Doc, question. you're 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 an educated fella. Um, <laughs> sure. Okay, so and then my my wife number two used to watch a goddamn show where they had the the the, the two midgets and they had a the regular sized kid. It was on Lifetime yes. or some shit, whatever. I little people. What? Little, oh, little, sorry, okay. little people. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so say both your parents are little people, okay? It's Jesus they're, Christ. They're they're little people, okay? <laughs> and and you're 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 whatever regular Joe. Now, what are the odds of you? You know, you marry you know you marry a regular Jane, and you have a kid. Since it's genetics, what are the what are the odds that the kid is a little person? So you have one little person and one regular person. No, 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 no. You got two. You got two, two little people, and their kid is a regular person. Oh, so I'll, I'd say twenty-five percent that they're normal. Hmm. Wow. Can you show the work, please? Wow. Imagine oh, that. Uh, imagine that if you didn't know the guy's <laughs> you can parents. Show your work on that one. I have to do a fact check on that one, man. Yeah, for a fact oh. check, cause yeah, twenty-five yeah. sounded too quick and too made up. I, I don't know. I, I, I call. Yeah. I call. Yeah. Because it's gotta be, it's gotta be a recessive 50, gene. 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. You're not taking. Charlie, that, go ahead. No, Jesus. What's that, Gregor Mendel shit? Is he doing the? Are you doing the <laughs> recessive gene thing? No. Well, I think that's where? what Charlie was talking about. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just an asshole. Don't people don't listen to me? Anybody out there? I <laughs> I think it is shit, and I just. This this is what I do with but this is why I'm divorced two times because I <laughs> sit around and talk about this shit and they go what the fuck is wrong with you I'm leaving. Oh man. Oh, so there's oh there oh, it there is. There we go. There we go. So no, we would be looking in this uh, category here for yeah, the I guess it's 20, so it's 25 percent. Uh, Very good. Man, he broke it down. Look at that. That is amazing. See, that's that's, that's why he's that's in college. The, that's the big. Yeah, Northern Northern Illinois University <laughs> Education at its finest there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you your, uh, the future of America is right there, <laughs> and his name is Doc. Okay, I love it. What else? I love I love when he does schematics. It's just something he, about it just turns <laughs> me on. Yeah, but he never saw schematics. Commando. He never you know, was... or or the Warriors. Or the Warriors. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like yeah. you should watch. You should work on that, Doc. Yeah, check it out, man. Netflix, bro. Send it to my bunker. Oh, it's on Netflix. Unique culture. I believe it's so. Yeah, it's on yeah. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I know yeah, what I'm doing the rest of the weekend. I'm having a so do I kill first or do I Netflix first? Mm, yeah, I'm by myself. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah it don't matter. Man, that sucks. It sucks being alone, doesn't it? Yeah. A little bit. I'm you got, you you got a dog with him. You enjoy it, Charlie? I love my own space, my own house. If I don't like you, get the fuck out. <laughs> there, there you go. Another T-shirt. Yeah, we gotta write these T-shirts up. Damn it. Wow. Yeah. That's I forgot. Cool. Steve, I'm. St I had a. I had a. I had. Customs is He's giving waiting me for some his shirt, shit. man. I. It's, it's in customs. All right. God damn. Fucking, customs. I have to go, have to, go to Marengo. Yeah, El Salvador, Marengo. It got stuck in customs. I'm working on it. It's uh, almost there. But yeah, Charlie, that's another good T-shirt idea right there. Damn. It's, uh, damn shipping department, man. Hey, Tony. Shipping. Yes, sir. Did you see there was I didn't mention there was a shooting at the uh, water tower? Wow, today? Today, uh, right? It was it was oh wait no that's us live. I was live on uh, Facebook. Uh, ABC or somebody had the helicopters over it. They were uh, wow. Cool. I don't know something like on the seventh floor of the oh here it is here it is uh, and uh, ABC seven live video shots fired seventh floor water tower place. Damn, did he? Man. Did anybody get killed? I don't know. I got all I got is a helicopter flying around the water. Let's see if we got any news here. Man, that's, that's going some crazy online, stuff. Right? See, that, that that's Damn. that's a problem, man. Now this is. Uh, I, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I, I don't know if if I should hey. be saying this or not, but you know what? I'm already. I'm looking for a plumber, contractor, carpenter. I'm getting my house ready. I'm selling it. I'm, I'm gonna put it on the market, and I'm, I'm I already got my land already picked out in an undisclosed location. I'm going off the fucking grid, man. I mean, and I'm taking a kid out of school. It's there. No one was I'm gonna shot. be broadcasting. I'm no one broadcast shot. from an actual bunker. No one was shot. There was a there was a there was a there was a, there was a dispute between two individuals and two uh, youths. A gun was a gun was discharged. Yeah. yeah. 
I tell you, man, that's the, that's the flavor of the month. Speaking of <laughs> discharge, um, speaking, you got to no, go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, no, speaking of discharge, I am very upset with Johnson's and Johnson's KY for his and her. Too fucking expensive, man. I'm a veteran. I'm on. I'm on a very tight budget. I can't be spending thirty dollars on lubrication. I'm not doing it. So KY no discount, or whatever. Man? Yeah, I want a discount. Send me some coupons. Hell yeah. Uh, the his and her. The his and her shit. I want the his and her shit. Thirty dollars. Why do you? For why, do you why do you guys? Why do you guys set me up when I know you're married? Hey why? man. Well, I'm just saying. It was just. I'm I don't, don't want to be. I don't. So I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to crack wise about your beloveds. <laughs> no, no, they're they're in, they're into it. Yeah, they're all they're all down. No. But I'm just saying, if anybody has any coupons, send them my way. Coupons. Yeah. Coupons. You, you, you get a you get a jug of Vaseline for like eighty nine cents at Walmart. Oh god, like Vaseline. Vaseline. That's, oh, that's, that's gross. gross. Right there, right there. Right, 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 right there, right there next to the cologne, man's. <laughs> right next the to the men's pack. We don't endorse anything oh. that Orger is saying right now. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> have another all right well we're getting uh well actually we're past the hour um so we uh before we uh turn oh, it shit. over back to the regular world we're gonna go around the key around the around the table one more time to get our final thoughts uh we are going to go ahead and start off with ogre uh, oh, hey. final thoughts final thoughts yeah well, once again just to break away from reality for you know, an hour or so. Like I, I, my new catchphrase that I guess or whatever you want to call it. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's the whole thing. There it is. So if there I offend, is. if I if 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 I offend anybody talking about midgets and saying faggots earlier, I apologize. And if that's not enough for you, I really don't give a fuck. So uh, <laughs> you know, just you uh, <laughs> live live your life and be happy and don't try sweat to be. The don't sweat the small stuff. That's right. There, Don't sweat there you go. <laughs> Very nice. All right. I, I'm gonna Pitch I'm gonna switch show. it up. And, yeah, I'm gonna oh, switch yeah. it up. And don't forget that. Don't forget to tune in Monday nights. Thanks, Devil Dog. There you Down, go. See. Monday motivation with Ogre and the Spaniard. There it is. All right, uh, Devil Dog. What are your final final thoughts, please? Our final thought. Uh, I want to wish my daughter Ashley happy birthday. It's tomorrow. Oh, happy but, birthday! Happy birthday. So she's doing it good, and she appreciates you guys uh, checking out her YouTube. And, yeah, that was good. Uh, oh, we were supposed to do that. Well, uh, that, uh, I did. Spaniard checked Spaniard. out. Yeah, I thought she's good, man. She's gonna be. Yeah, she's gonna be she's on she's major be networks, man. Yep. So happy birthday to you, open. Ashley. Love you, Ashley. And um, I want to just put everybody awareness to uh, right now. Uh, Cop suicide, unfortunately, is getting up. We had a young female officer that killed herself, domestic, young, only two years in a job. So it's never too late. You know, if you have an issue, call someone. There's organi organizations out there. Same with the veterans. And um, just want you to know, call anyone. If you have an issue, it's not worth killing yourself. Trust me, your life means something. And uh, don't forget, yes. check out uh, the Sunday Nights with the uh, Beyond the Thin Blue Line, my new show. Interesting topics coming up. Yes, great show, Bobby. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and again, too, I don't know. I should I should figure out how to post this on here. I will. I'm working on that. But we do have a phone number here. So if you ever do need to talk to somebody, my uh, we do have a hotline, a hotline, but we do have a phone line. It is uh, 219-232-VETS. So that's 219-232-8387. If you uh, are just not feeling it and you need someone to chat with, I'm here. Just give me a call. I'll answer the phone. If you want to talk to me, I can disguise my voice. Uh, either way, I'm just a, I'm a very good soundboard, so definitely uh, give give me a holler. I'm here. All right. I've been classically trained, by the way. That's right. In matchbook. That's right. So I know what I'm talking about. All right. Wait. Thanks again for the devil dog. Uh, Charlie, we're going to go head over to you. You finished your ice cream. So uh, no, how I was it? Oh, you didn't finish. I'm not done yet. I All still right, got a ways well. to go. You finish um, it. Down in one. Last little final thought, um, kind of the tail off of what Devil Dog had mentioned, um, kind of going into the whole suicide thing or, you know, the domestic violence thing. Oh, you're right, Doc. Okay. <laughs> Doc, you're right. Fuck. I'm good. Stand by. Stand by. Audio off. We can take care of this in editing. 
All right, Chuck. Continue, Chuck. Sorry. It was going sorry. great. Sorry. He was breathtaking. Especially for some strong veterans uh, being females or, you know, females in line of duty with the officers and mm. policemen, things like that. Um, we're very independent, and uh, sometimes that independence stops us from reaching out when we should. And ladies, there's no harm in reaching out and calling someone if you don't feel safe at home, if you right. feel mm -hmm. that you just need to talk to someone, call. Like, it's no joke, and it's it. no one is going to look down upon you. Our independence is worth a ton to us, but your life is worth way more. Outstanding. Very beautifully good. said, Charlie. Thank you so much for that. Cause yes, that's something that's, that's overlooked often. And, uh, yes, we are here. Uh, so again, spread the word. If there's uh, this is a network, just like it is in the military, you gotta, you know, you have your battle buddy and then and, and those battle buddies have battle buddies C continue with that network. I mean, we were taught something back in the day. Let's continue on with that tradition and with that training is because that's that's who we have. We have each other. We understand, uh, you know, most of the time of what each other's going through. So definitely reach out if you have to. Thank you, Charlie, for that, uh, for that very much. And thank you for uh, for being with us tonight. And thank you for being you know, safe on the road and making it at home safely. Um, all right. Um, uh, who who do we go to next? Doc. Doc, okay? he's all right now. You all right? Thank God. I'm good. I, I, I could like... breathe. Yeah, I did. Worried about what? you, man. Went straight into my lungs. It was not okay. pleasant, by the way. Oh, so, um, I almost forgot we didn't get through my uh, sexual position on the night, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Very good. Well, all right. Yeah. Do it. All right. So, what we have here. While you're bringing that up, uh, a write-in from Tracy. Tracy says, hey, Charlie. Yeah. Oh, you have fan. Holy cow. All right. Oh. Okay. So this is called the unicycle. unicycle. I cannot and, bend like that, bro. And, and the text that comes along with it is he assumes the bottom position, lifting his lower back up, supported by his arms. She mounts him, supporting herself with her legs, and controls penetration depth by bending her knees. Holy cow. I see. Man. Wow, hold on. Let me soak this in here first. Let me soak this in. Yeah, so it's, 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 I, I don't it's, think me and Ogre could do that. Yeah, that ain't happening. Nah. <laughs> oh, you can if is you the, try. Is the male. No, we're not built the, for that, man. Yeah. No. We're big. Is, we're big. Just use a wall the male. to help you. I got a, I got a question here because I, I may be able sure. to do this. Come on. Okay. Now. Yeah. Is the male up against something? Like, is he up against the bed or up against no. the wall like for support? <laughs> he's up, he's up yes. against it already. Right. Oh, so yes, he, is. he is up against the wall. He can be. Okay. It might make, make it a little bit easier. Okay. That's like you wow. can't fucking breathe. You're gonna break your fucking neck doing <laughs> shit like that. Well, Not that's where yoga. That, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there you go. See, Charlie's got a good point. If you that that kind of ties in with the uh, uh, what is that erotic? Uh, what is it? Uh, self erotic uh, asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. Yeah. 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 They're, they're, they're good stuff. There could be there could be a bad finish to that too if you're still like that backed up against a fucking wall and she 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 hops off at the right minute you know you're you're looking at number at old one eye there that uh... <laughs> see I don't know if I'm up there yeah oh god some oh, yeah, because I wear it's... I wear is definitely important protective protective uh, what do you call it PPE. Yeah. Personal protection equipment. Is that what it's All called, right, Charlie? Guys, get, get that out of there. My daughter's watching. Come on. Get that out of there. <laughs> hey, this is an adult show. Come on. I'll break a hip doing that shit, man. Oh, I know. Break a hip. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> choke myself. Well, we'll have to get a sponsorship from GNC. We're, we're, uh, we're New Genics. <laughs> New Genics. Oh, so that Bobby can not break his hip. Exactly. You, you guys That's are there. crazy, man. All right, so, so give I got, it a was try. That, so give it a shot. Let I'll us pass. know if you. Yeah. And what was the name? Don't like, oh, the it. unicycle. The unicycle. So yes, those of you pass. watching and, and who will watch, if you've ever tried the unicycle or if you do, let us know how it is. We are listening. We are here for you for uh, for your support. So all right, so I guess that's uh, is, did that was that everybody? Did I get everybody? Uh, ogre. See, I am I'm, I'm a little drunk. Hey, Any your double, final thought? Double double O's so about is ready it? to sign in, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> he is. about to, yeah, it's about, yeah, it's about that time. 
All right. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, do my final thought. Uh, really, uh, again, I just I can't uh, thank you all enough for your wonderful words and your support. Uh, again, we like I said before, we are a work in progress. We're getting better at it, uh, little by little. Uh, hopefully, next time I'll be able to kind of master the OBS system and have some more graphics like Doc was posting up. And uh, again, don't forget to catch our other shows that are on the Black Sheep Bravo channel. We have uh, Monday Night Motivation with the Ogre on Mondays, of course. And then on Sunday evenings, the Thin Blue Line with the Devil, or beyond the Thin Blue Line with the Devil Dog on Sunday. So, uh, again, we're getting some great, uh, great comments. Keep them coming. And, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube page and share. Let the world know who we are. Again, Black Sheep Bravo is just a... A couple of veterans running a, a YouTube channel, creating videos and shows for your entertainment and for other veterans to uh, to catch and to uh, keep them engaged so that they don't have that, uh, that uh, ability to go down that dark road. So, again, uh, we thank you guys for uh, supporting us. Again, things are coming up in the future. T-shirts, Steve, I, I promise you. The shirts are coming. Uh, I'm still working out those details. And uh, we got some live shows coming up. And uh, so definitely keep watching. Um, so enough about that. Thanks again. It's Friday night. Enjoy the weekend. It's going to be a great weekend. Spring is around the corner. And before you know it, summer is here. So those, uh, my little red bathing suit is going to be coming out here pretty soon. So on Take behalf of the crew, thanks again for watching the Black Sheep Bravo Roundtable. Until next week, this is the Spaniard keeping it tight on Black Sheep Bravo. Spaniard out. Bye. I will